Hey everyone! Today I'd like to show off a feature in Unity that allows you to lower the number of frames you draw every second without increasing input lag. This doesn't matter as much for desktop apps, but on mobile it makes a huge difference in the amount of power your app consumes. Check the description for a link to a working example project on GitHub. Before this feature was added, if you decreased the frame rate of your game to one frame per second, in addition to only rendering one frame per second, it would also only check for user input once per second, making the game way less responsive. Basically almost everything the engine did was tied to the graphics frame rate. But that changed in Unity 2019.3. They added the on-demand rendering API, which has a property called render frame interval. It allows you to tell Unity to run the rest of the engine at the desired frame rate, but only run the graphics system every few frames. For example, if you set application.targetFrameRate to 60 and onDemandRendering.RenderFrameInterval to 3, the rest of the engine will run 60 times per second, but will only draw to the screen every 3 frames, resulting in a frame rate of 20 frames per second. With all that in mind, lowering the graphics frame rate should significantly decrease the amount of work your GPU is doing. Conversely, you could even use this feature to run the engine 120 times per second for more precise input while keeping the frame rate at 60 frames per second. But for my use case, I was building an app that consists mostly of static screens, and I wondered if I could bring the frame rate down to 1 FPS and only speed it up when the screen actually needs to change. This was actually pretty straightforward to implement. I just created a mono behavior called Frame Rate Manager with an update loop that checks whether anything has recently requested the frame rate to increase, and if so, set render frame interval to 1, meaning 60 FPS, otherwise, set it back to 60, meaning 1 FPS. To do this, I used time.framecount, which gives you the current number of frames since the application started. Whenever something in the app wants to change the UI, it calls frameRateManager.instance.requestFullFrameRate, which records the time.framecount in a variable called lastRequestedFrame. In the update loop, I check if the last requested frame is within three frames of the current frame, and if so, set render frame interval back to one. I check the last three frames because I'm not sure how exactly the graphics system works and I didn't want to have to deal with any weird edge cases. You could potentially only check the last frame, but I can't guarantee that will work in all cases. Now I just needed to go through my app and call frameRateManager.instance.requestFullFrameRate whenever something changes the UI. This part was kind of cumbersome, and it took me a while to find all the places where I needed to call this, but it wasn't too bad. There might be a more creative way to tell when things need to be redrawn, but this worked for me. In the end, it massively improved the performance of my app. When my app is idling on a static scene, the GPU usage drops to almost nothing. This feature makes it more reasonable to use Unity to create things other than games. Before, it seemed really silly seeing my simple desktop app using up 15% of the GPU just idling. But now, it only goes back up to 60 FPS when it has to. I hope you'll be able to find a way to use this feature in your own app whenever you don't need to be rendering at the full frame rate. If you found this video informative, consider giving it a like. Thanks for watching.